Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento with the mid-morning update or mid-afternoon update. We've got a time change. It's 10 o'clock here in the big city. We've got a few of the indices are up. The S&P's up a couple. Dow Jones down a couple. NASDAQ's up 120. And Russell, it's hit pretty good. The big move is we've had a $50 move in gold. It's only up 47 right now, a buck and a half in uh, silver. And then, of course, the uh, big reversal in the crude oil market that occurred in the middle of the night, which was uh, not unexpected, but that's what pretty much happened. The U.S. dollar is weakening, and, of course, that means that we're having a big move in the um, euro and then also in the um, Japanese yen. Anyway, those are a few things that we're taking a look at today, folks. Let me just give you a tiny bit of old history, and that is that uh, no matter what happens during these times, we all come out of it occasionally, usually very, very good. I want to show you what I predicted way back uh, when, in uh, March the 5th of 2009. Uh, oh, oh, just a second, I got the wrong sheet up here, and then we'll get up here. This is was in the news. Oh, dear, this, just a second here. I got it all messed up, and now we've got it right, so let's move it over to the place where I can put it in. There we go. And this was my, uh, I've been speaking for these folks at TFNN since uh, 2007. This was March 5th of 2009. You'll notice that we had a three drive to a bottom there. You'll see the arrow, that low that we made that day at 666, the old devil's advocate number, uh, was exactly a 61% retracement of the low from August the 9th of 1982. Go check it yourself if you don't believe me because I was on the floor of the exchange that day when the market bottomed in August. Uh, that was a big move by Henry Kaufman from uh, PIMCO, and he basically, uh, not PIMCO, oh dear, I can't remember the name of the firm, it wasn't Solomon Brothers. Anyway, um, this is, I'll think up in a second, not important. Anyway, I said the market was going to have the strongest rally since 1938. Well, I was right, because it rallied all the way up to 40,000. But we're not, this is not the same situation that we have now, folks. All I'm doing is to show, show you occasionally I get these patterns right, and that's what I'm trying to impart, that sometimes they work. They work about 60% of the time. That's what we're working on. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. 